Oh. All right, so I'm not a ghost or a goblin, but today you could call me the big bad wolf. That's right. All right, so it's Halloween 2007, and I'm here to hand out some candy today. Uh, some people are going to get treats, and one person's about to get a treat. Renetto, shame on you. You know what I'm talking about. All right, users, wherever you're watching this from, this is Casey Kane, Psycho Hurricane. You, most of you are aware of Renetto's recent Bad Boys of YouTube video series, in which I'm in one, Mr. Pregnant's in one, a few other users. I'm here to come clean. Now, as you know, Paul said that he was going to use his channel to let users such as myself post their videos. That's clearly not the case. Paul has refused to put any of my videos other than what he wanted on his channel. Now, me and Paul talk several times, and the thing about it is I can show you. I've got audio and video surveillance throughout my area. As you will see right there. So basically... Paul, during every one of our calls, our conversations, which actually was seven or eight to be exact, I put you on speakerphone, which allowed my cameras to pick up the audio portion and the video portion of our calls. I was right under the camera. YouTube. During our one conversation, I told Paul, he was trying to butter me up, and I said, Renata, hold on. Hold on, Paul. You and I both realize this is a business for you. And you're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself. You have everything to gain, as do I. I had something to gain from it. So I agreed to play along with his game. As my videos wouldn't be posted, and he just quit calling me, no more emails, nothing. I figured it, I thought I figured it out. Then last night, I got a phone call. I promised this call I would not reveal her identity, but I will tell you this. I got a phone call from a lady, we'll say. This lady told me, Casey, he's playing you again. He's playing the entire community, and I can't see this happening. I can't rest at night. You need to know the truth. So I'm here to tell you the truth, guys. Recently, Paul was very concerned. You notice that his laptop is like his life support system. It goes wherever he goes. YouTube is his life. His ratings were dropping terribly. And in desperation, he needs to, to grasp something in order to bring back up his ratings at any cost. And that's exactly what he did. The entire thing with me, Paul, Mr. Pregnant, it was all staged. Paul called me, I've got the tape on my audio and video surveillance where Paul called me and told me the plan. Um, I actually put him in contact with Mr. Pregnant. I'm going to ask me to don't take this out on Mr. Pregnant. He's as much a victim as I was in this. Paul's the culprit, the big bad wolf. And you should be ashamed, Paul. You really should be. Now, through many of our conversations, all I heard about was Jesse, 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 this, Jesse, that. It's like he's got some sick obsession with this kid, Jesse. Everything was created for his ratings, number one, number two, to reinstate Jesse. That's genuine. He wants Jesse back bad. Um, so Paul called me, and he said, listen, here's what's going to happen. Mr. Pregnant's going to put out a video where he disses me, he you know said calls me a liar, and you know Paul scripted Mr. Pregnant's video content. I assure you, he told me about it. In another desperation attempt, Renato's got plans, and I'm not going to reveal your plans for your future show. Paul, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm not low like that. I'm not dirty. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm doing right now. It's, it's the truth. I'm coming clean for you, Paul. You betrayed even your own subscribers and supporters. I had to play along with the game. I betrayed some of my friends. But now the truth must be told, and it will be told and known. 
Everything was Jesse this, Jesse that. But the thing about it is, Paul's got some major plans for his future shows. That just so you know that I'm hip to it, the ending of his videos will be very unique, and will draw lots of curiosity, and uh, it'll boost his ratings greatly. But it's also one more reason that I believe children do not belong on YouTube. Anybody under 16 shouldn't be here. It's just not right. So yes, Mr. Pregnant Me talked, me and Paul talked, we learned this was all staged, it was all planned. With God as my witness, I'm telling you, it was all planned. Um, now if he wants to dispute this, he can do that, and I'll simply come forward with my videotapes, which they don't lie, because they can't. As you watch the videotape going through, you see there's no editing. You see audio, you can edit, you can edit video. But not like this, not per whole conversation. So, also, the lady informed me that Renetto is actually the one behind all of the recent suspensions, including my own and Mike Skihan. Why? Look at his series. It's all about users being suspended. This plays right into his cards. He actually uh, asked me for Mike's number. I wouldn't give Mike's number. He said for me to give Michael Ski and his number. And Mike, you know that I called you and gave you Paul's number. And all along, he's been planning on burning you for his own game. And that's what he's done. So between Renato and YouTube, they're partners, definitely. And, you know, birds of a feather flock together. You never see pigeons flying with the eagles, okay? And I'll leave it at that. But so, yes, the whole thing was set up. Uh, even right now, if you look at Renato's rated videos, anything that's gone against him, you click on that video that he rated, and uh, the video has been removed due to terms of use violation. I'll give you an example. See, these are Paul's recent ratings. Now, if you go right here, it says ban this user from YouTube. If you click on it, you notice that it's been conveniently removed. Why? The term. Clearly, Renetto has got the inside click with YouTube. So, Paul, you should really pack your bags because any of your supporters who now know the truth and who still stick behind you must be as desperate and as warped as you clearly are. YouTube, you are disgusting. You played right along with this. You knew all along what was going to happen. Shame on you. Trick or treat, the trick's on you. And this is my treat to not only the YouTube community, but this video will be posted at every video hosting site available on the web. To the lady who called me last night, thank you. I had an idea, but unless I'd heard it from you, I wouldn't have believed it. Thank you. So YouTube, I'm going to suggest one thing right now. If you want to try out a site that really is user friendly, it's a place where I've got many friends. Forget about what you've heard about it. Go right now, check out livevideo.com. Great site, great people, and a lot of fun, and no drama. They don't allow it. And kids are safe at live video. There's no child endangerment there. It's a more user-friendly site, and it's genuinely real, unlike the YouTubes. The reason I wanted my comeback here was simply to work as a community watchdog. But I've done my homework. I'm about to reveal my findings. And again, Renetto, you should be ashamed of yourself. Mr. Pregnant, I want your response to this. We deserve it. Thanks. You have come to fight us free tubers, and free tubers, you are! What will you do without freedom? Will you fight thousands of us? I am Renetto, 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 Renetto.